Hello friends, Wickety here, and today's video guide is all about tailoring in Stardew Valley. The 1.4 update out for PC and soon for mobile and consoles has brought out a new piece of gameplay for those hoarders out there like me. The option to customize and change your character's clothing has added a lot of fun to my gameplay, and who doesn't love more customization? Plus, for me, it's finally a good reason to keep sheep on my farm and rabbits for more than just rabbit's feet and cuteness factor. There is a new room that has been added into Emily and Haley's house, and before you can use it, you first need to unlock the option. What you gotta do is get a hold of some cloth. Finally gonna make this stuff functional, I'm so happy for that. There are a few ways to get cloth. One of the earliest ways to get it is by recycling some newspaper in a recycling machine, which you can unlock after level 4 fishing, or by completing the field research bundle in the community center. The most common method is using a loom to spin some wool that you get from rabbits or sheep, though you will need to have either a deluxe coop or a deluxe barm, and you're farming at level 7 to unlock the loom. This update has also given the loom a chance to drop double cloth if you use it to process higher quality wool. Sometimes Emily may even send you some cloth or wool in the mail after you've reached at least one heart level with her. After you've unlocked access to the desert, the new desert merchant will sometimes have cloth for sale for three aquamarine. And in Skull Cavern, there will be mummies that will have a chance to drop cloth as well. In order to trigger the cutscene to unlock the sewing machine, after you get a hold of some cloth, the next day that isn't raining, you just gotta leave the farmhouse between 6am and 11am. Your friendship levels with Emily do not affect whether or not the cutscene pops up. Ah, Emily, my favorite Stardew weirdo. Alright, I'ma let you finish. Now that we have access, it's time to make some fun and unique apparel. How the sewing machine works, we just need to feed it with a bolt of cloth and an item to tailor with. I've already played around with it a little bit before. This witch hat is one that I just had to have. It's made by using a golden pumpkin. Let's try a few things out and see what we get. I'm going to leave a link to the wiki page that has a list of all the items you can make with the sewing machine, including a bunch of new pants, skirts, and shorts options. The sewing machine will indicate whether it's a top, hat, or pants in the corner, and whether or not you've already made it. Let's just look at a few of my favorites. This hay makes a great grass skirt. A holiday shirt is made from a pumpkin pie. You get a leather jacket from using an alcoholic beverage. Tailoring with a rusty spur will give you a cowboy poncho. Using prehistoric tools, you'll get a shirt that looks an awful lot like Fred Flintstone. A red mushroom will give you a spotted head scarf. Using some ancient fruit will give you some way cool genie pants. The seaweed gives you a really fun top. I see myself dressing up as a mermaid with this one. If you put a metal bar in, you'll get a breastplate so you look like you're ready for an adventure. Dinosaur eggs give you this hat. And the dinosaur mayonnaise gives you these pants with a matching tail. Using a prismatic shard can give you either a shirt or two different pants. And just look at that effect. A little trippy, but I like it. And the last one I'll show you, I love this one. Though I really hope that these have been washed first. You place the mayor's shorts in here and a gold bar to get these bad boys. It will cause quite the stir talking to Marnie and Lewis while wearing these. There are a few other things that you can do with the sewing machine. Say you aren't the biggest fan of the color on one of these items you made. If it says in the description that it is dyeable, you can put the item into the feed and add an item to the top. It will show you what color the clothing will be changed to, depending on what you put in. Or if you're like me and you'd like just a little bit more control, we have the dyes over here. While you are wearing the items you wish to change color on, you can put in six dyeing items into their respective color pots. I tried to find the items of each color that I find most common, so you can check those out in my inventory if you'd like. 
You'll need to put something in each spot and you'll be able to have a lot more control with the slider option available. Ah, that's much better. This skirt started out in bright sunflower yellow. And there's one more thing that you can do with this room. It's very useful. If you happen to have a pair of boots with a high stats, but let's say you really don't wanna wander around in bright purple shoes, you can now change things up a bit. Here, you'll need to place the item you want to keep and change, and up here, you need to place the boots whose stats you want to move over. Go ahead and turn the sewing machine on, and you got a custom-made set of kicks. You do lose the other boots though, so keep that in mind. So friends, have you been playing around with the new tailoring system? And what things have you made? What is your favorite so far? Obviously my favorite is this witch hat, but there's a lot of different combinations that I haven't tried yet and I really want to just fill up my dresser. I hope that this guide has been helpful to you. Be sure to drop a comment down below and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm Wickedy, thanks for hanging out in the valley with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!